Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Kelly. Okay, we're gonna do a quick, I got I got all my stuff here, a quicker video, hopefully quicker, I don't know, on a few uh, making your own stamps kind of thing. Um, I did find, and it is washable school glue, no run. That's what I use. I'm gonna do a video later, either today or tomorrow, on using the white school on a glue as a Mod Podge on wood and so forth and go through all that stuff again. And I found my glue sticks. Hopefully they're not dried out. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a few cute ways to make your own stamps. Now these are stamps uh, different than the ones I did in the prior video. And um, I'll explain in a moment. So, so get yourself a piece of fun foam, you know, kids foam. I call it fun foam. I don't know. It's called kids foam. I don't know why I call it fun foam. Maybe because I have fun with it. I don't know. All right. So have your piece and make sure your camera just decides to stay in focus. All right. And then take, now I'm going to use these ones that I used in the other video that I wrote in, drew in. It doesn't matter. I'll just use this other side. And what you're going to do is take your white school glue and you can keep it thick. You don't have to uh, water it down. If you find that your school glue is a little too hard to, I'm talking a mile a minute. My goodness. Did the cocaine kick in? I don't know. I'm kidding. Um, what was I saying? See, that's what happens. I talk so fast. I stop myself. My thought leaves out my ear. Um, you can use your white school glue uh, as is. If it's too thick for you to use, uh, then add a little water to it. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to use this uh, glue stick uh, because it's quicker and, you know, whatever. I say go to AC Moore or Michaels, use a coupon, 40%, 50%, and get yourself a Elmer's Extreme. These are archival. So many people say to me when I use the Elmer's school glue or Elmer's white glue, uh, is it archival? The Elmer's in the bottles are not archival. These glue sticks, however, are. Um, I checked with the company and that's what they said. I've ha I have a history with the company. Let's just say that. And not a very good one. But I want to know because a lot of people ask me because, you know, to me, um, if you're doing something that you're selling, unless, unless you have no other uh, option, now, I've used this for years. I've been doing mixed media and I've been doing arts and crafts uh, for, gosh, I mean, I've been married 24 years, 25 years, so probably <clears throat> just that long. Um, and I've used Elmer's white school glue. I've never had anything yellow. I can go back in a lot of my old journals that I use that in. It's not yellowed. However, if you're uh, going to sell something and all that to get yourself started, to get yourself out there, to start making money so you can buy you know, a little bit more, uh, like Mod Podge or something to that effect. Um, you just want to tell the people, you just want to tell them when you sell it and it's just a, uh, precaution. You don't have to, because like I said, I've never had issues with it. If you've had issues with your, uh, Elmer's white school glue, uh, turning yellow. And I mean, Elmer's brand, not, I don't know anything about dollar store brands or any other brand, uh, except what people tell me. Nobody has told me it's yellowed, but people tell me that it, you know, it uh, smears and does this and other and, and, and that kind of thing. Um, you know, and dollar store ones, people have let me know that they do not do well. But uh, so I can only speak of Elmer's um, and I'm not an elitist when it comes to Elmer's. It's just what I buy. Uh, so, yeah, so you want to like put that in the disclosure of you selling just so they know. I think if you're doing your art journal or things that you're doing for yourself, um, or give away, you know what I mean? Like something that you just want to do for other people. I think using it is fantastic and fine. Again, the glue sticks are archival. I know way too much information four minutes in. I'm sorry. Let's start. Okay, so we have a plain piece of kids foam. Now, you can use paper. You can use cardboard. I take cereal boxes and cut those bad boys up. You can use this as, the, as, as that. I'm going to put the link uh, somewhere in this video, probably closer to the end. Of the other videos I have um, using doing the fun foam different things so you can get different ideas so let's start take your glue any kind of glue you're using I don't care Mod Podge whatever you have and just put just do half for now because it dries pretty quick and then just take your foam now this is what I do I just cut weird shapes you can cut a circle a half circle you can put it in your die cut machine you can make these, you can make these, you can sing while you do it like I do, why not? All right, 
so let's do this. So we're just gonna glue this bad boy down in different uh, different functions. Conjunction, junction, not your function. Now you can leave a little space between, you can put them right up against each other. Guess what? It's your stamp, my loves. You do whatever you want. And obviously I'm doing very basic shapes here because right now I'm not very creatively imagined, imaginative. I don't know what word I wanna say. And then we'll just put this like this. And then, I mean, like I said, you have a punch, punch out of it. Punch, you know, punch something. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Okay, so this is very basic, very easy. Kids can do this. It's fun when you have kids or grandkids or whatever you have, or just for yourself, for mindlessness, because as y'all know, I like to be mindless sometimes, or I don't have a choice. My body just likes to be mindless. And again, look, I have it like that. Put it whatever way you want it. If you want it to, if you're very OCD, I'm OCD, but on different things than this. Sometimes, sometimes I get very OCD on these kind of things, but you just put it whatever way you want. Okay. The point is, is you're making texture. And like I said, you can use your craft knife, cut it out into different things. All right. So let's just pretend. All right. And that's about as much as I'm going to do. You can do the whole thing. You can do as little or as much as you want. It's up to you. See, you didn't know you were getting sung to today. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. So technically you kind of want this dry, but I'm not going to worry about it right this second. And I'm gonna take red, this is stays on. You use whatever you have. Stays on's permanent, memento is permanent. Uh, what's this one called? Memories is permanent. You know, if you only have semi, you know, uh, I call it semi-permanent, but the ones that are, you know, that are water soluble, you can use uh, paint and I'm gonna show you in a second. Okay, so look, here we go. We're just doing our thing, I'm stamping it on this way. Now remember, I have some texture. Shut that, because I'll find out tomorrow. I have some texture in some of these ones I've already uh, played with yesterday, but watch how fun. Here we go. And I'm pushing and pushing. Push it real good. Okay, I don't know why I do it every time I push. But look at how fantastic. Look. I got me some mixed media stamps for free. Well, not free. I bought the fun foam, but you can get the fun foam or kids foam, whatever it's called at the dollar store. And if they don't have the sheets there, because some of my dollar store have it, some don't go to the kids section where the toys are and you'll find like uh, bathtub pieces that are out of foam. You'll find uh, how you say uh, crowns and all kinds of things that you can buy, rip apart and, and just cut into little pieces like this. Right? So there are ways to do it, my loves. Ba -ba Boom! Look at that. Yeah, I know. I'm fancy. I'm so fancy. That's all I know. <laughs> I torture my daughter and I sing that all the time. Well, I'm sure you guys know with my voice, I can be a little annoying. Don't know if you know that. All right. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, what do I do with my paint? Okay. So I'm just going to take a little bit of pink paint. Oh, didn't shake it. And I got, I hate when this happens, when you get that little like ooey gooey there. Yeah, that's right. It's called ooey gooey. All right. Let me just give it a shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. All right. See, got your paint in there. I got my cheap, inexpensive brush. I'm going to do like this, just a little bit. And then knock my glue over, but it's all right. Very lightly. Go over my stamps, my foam that I made into my stamps. All right, you see how that goes? Very good. Okay, now. Boom, look at that, right? Mm-hmm, I know. Your minds are blown. No, I'm sure they're not. I'm sure you've probably seen this elsewhere, but I just want everybody to, and I love, here's the thing. I love, because this has pattern that I cut, you know what I mean, that you have it all. You have some that has pattern, you have some that are, you know, fully done. This is with acrylic paint, that is with a stamp pad. And here's a stamp pad that, uh, here's a stamp pad that um, is water soluble, that is not permanent. Let me just wipe a little bit of this off. Now, remember, once your glue dries, whatever glue you're using, these will be glued on permanently. You see what I'm saying? So that's a good thing. You can use uh, repi re repissable. 
repositional tape if you want, if you only have limited fun foam, kids foam, whatever you call it. And, uh, all right, this is, and you, uh, you know, are, are limited. This has a sticker on the back, and I'm going to talk about that in a second. Okay. Boom. Look, that's, that is an ink pad that you get that are usually inexpensive um, because they're not permanent, and you can still use it. All right? Awesome. So imagine what you can do. And like I said, I'm going to link my other video, which I have some different uh, ideas in. But you can do whatever. Like I said, you can go. Now, let me tell you, and I don't know if this is in my other video, and I should have grabbed. Urgh, I hate when I don't think ahead. Oh, don't you hate that? Okay, I'll talk about it in a minute. Anyway, so you see this is a sticky kind. Well, the stick is kind of gone on that. But uh, so if you have this and you want to you wanna put it, perhaps I, I save these, right? And I'll show you what I do with them. But uh, if you want to cut this out, right now cut it out so you have this flat part still because you can draw on there and do whatever or even do this in there and it gives you another way to have a stamp this is very recyclable very uh cost effective it comes you know in my store you get meat in it you get uh vegetables in it you can get it you know whatever i've, I've thrown so many of these away and now i hoard them because <laughs> i'm a hoarder all right, so what you would do is cut it out. You could uh, cut this right here, glue it on there, and it gives you a little bit more security. You don't have to. You obviously see that I can do it without. Um, now, this is a circle one, and let me do this. I'm just going to use my ink pad. Again, oh, my goodness gracious. Again, you can use uh, paint. You don't have to use an ink pad if you don't have it. All right, I'm just going to put some one there all right and i'm gonna stamp it and then i'll tell you how i did it stamp look at that wah, wah, wah. all right and you know the more you stamp it obviously the lighter it gets now what i did for that was oh I, you know what i should look for my heat gun while i was here too i know my husband plugged it in i just don't know exactly where okay so what i did was and i think this is in the video i'm going to link i heated this with my heat gun use your hair dryer on the hottest i got some blue on my finger use the heat gun, your uh, hair dryer on the hottest setting your heat gun whatever give it a second you'll see it like heat up it, it, it literally it's like 20 seconds you'll see it kind of like i don't know move a bit but uh and if i find my heat gun i'll do it in another video but you just kind of do, 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 right? You heat it. And then all I did was stuck a lid in from, could be my nose spray. Let's see. All right. It's just not wanting to unhook. All right. We'll just do this. Okay. So you see uh, the circle, you heat it, and then you stick it in. Now I can stick this in without having it heated, but it just doesn't, it'll come out eventually, which it isn't no big deal. If you don't have a heat gun or a hair dryer and you don't want to get that out, then don't. Um, but let me show you. I just pushed it in there. Oh my God. My goodness gracious. All right. So let me give us a little bit of something, something. See, and then we'll just do it down here. I'm going to, got to remember to cover these cause I'm forever walking in here and they're dried out. Boof. So you see, you can definitely just do it like that to get perfect circles or draw whatever you want. Um, and like I said, you could stick this on a piece of something, you know what I mean? To add another piece of texture. It doesn't matter. So those are some fun things. Um, again, these are fun because if we cut this, I'm going to cut it straight now, yeah. yeah. and then just kind of give it a, like that. And again, you have this flat part that you can doodle in. Or use as a, you know, whatever. I would doodle in it or stamp in it. If you heat this very quickly, 5, 10 seconds at, at most, with your hair dryer on hot, you don't have to have a heat gun. Heat guns are great. Heat guns are if you're going to emboss. And I think if you like to emboss or want to emboss, I think it's great to have a heat gun. Uh, you can use your coupon at the store, AC Moore Michaels Joann's. Joann's, however, you go to, you can use your Michaels coupon, your AC Moore coupon, your Joann's coupon, your Hobby Lobby coupon, all in the same order. So if you buy four or five things that are full price, not on sale, 
you can use all those coupons in one order rather than going to AC Moore or Michaels like I do and have to have me, my husband, my daughter. And then you got to hope the person at the cashier doesn't say you can't use the same uh, bank card to pay for it. That's a whole other issue. So anyway, save this, draw in it, stamp in it with the heat it, stick in there and stamp. You know, if you want to do uh, caps and, and some of the things I showed you yesterday that are at home, do that. Fantastic. And then this, all you do is, where's my pencil? You can glue on here the same, or you just, I'm just going to do random. And you see, I'm just, you don't want to push as hard on here as you would the foam because it's much uh, more pliable than the foam. It'll go right through. And this gives you, and I'm just kind of doing real quick just to show you. Okay. All right. Okay, same thing, the red. Let's turn you this way, push it down like this. And this is nice and uh, thick, you know what I mean? You don't have to glue it to anything unless you wanna cut the pieces out. But you can see, it gives you a nice marking, a little grungier, but hey, you know, if you use paint, it'll be a little bit more opaque, And um, but I don't care. It's free and you make your own. And when you're doing an art journal or um, I just put in our group a uh, a uh, prompt, art journal prompt or whatever kind of prompt you want to use it for. Could be jewelry, art journaling, painting, mixed media, uh, sewing, knitting, whatever, crochet, uh, which is using recycled products. And what inspired me was these. So if you're doing mixed media and you're using these and these are recycled, that's fantastic. Uh, making homemade uh, art items, you know what I mean? Like we've done in the past couple of videos. So I want to do an art journal page or whatever using those. So that is where we're at there. Very, very fun, very simple. And you have all these great markings. You don't have to go out. And this is, look, you know, I go out, I buy stencils, I buy stamps. I'm not going to lie. Can I afford them all the time? No. So I don't get to buy them all the time. So that's why I, I use these. You don't have to use these. If you can afford the other ones and, you, and you're good to go, I say go for it. Um, I think for individual, individuality, I think for depending on what your uh, subject is that you're doing, mixed media, art, whatever, I think that, uh, you know, we all kind of want our own little signature of something. So if I can make my own, whether I cut out, you know, cut these out and put it on here or whatever, uh, it makes it more mine. It makes it more original. And I think, you know, where we're so saturated anymore with people all having the same stencil, all having the same, and it's fine. It's life. I have many stencils like other people have, and I love it. And I love to see what other people do with them, but sometimes I want my own thing. Um, for years I did commissions and um, all kinds of stuff. And one of the things I loved was having my own thing, you know, my own thing to do, uh, my own touch, so to say. So you know, I love it. I think it's fantastic for all you beginners out there. I know I have so many people uh, who are new to this and beginning. And I think that uh, I don't want people turned off or people not to do mixed media or anything like this, art journaling, um, because they feel like they can't afford it or they can't uh, live up to maybe videos that they watch. Who People who have been doing it for years already have big supplies of things. So this is a great way to get started. It's fun. You could do it with the kids easily uh, and let them have fun and, and be individualistic as well. So I uh, want to give a shout out to Sigrid. I call her Sigrid. Secret Soto. Um, I watch her videos every time she puts them up. I'm in the middle of watching one of her videos now. She's doing, uh, I think it's a prompt from another group. I don't, I'm not real sure. But uh, so I want to give a shout out to her. And uh, I'm going to put her link down below and go check her out. I love, you know, I, I want to try to really get more people uh, to go see other channels that uh, I really love watching. And uh, she's the one I'm going to give today. And I'll put the link down below as well. And just give her some love and go check her out. And, uh, you know, she has a lot of great stuff. And she does, she films like me. We just kind of go for it. We don't edit. We don't do anything. We go for it. Done. And that's what I like watching. So I'm going to finish watching her video while this uploads. Any questions, as always, leave them down below. Any suggestions, 
leave them down below. Let me know if you, I saw in my last video, a couple of you, of you had written and said that you had already done this, which I love. Um, and so let me know down below other things that you've done other, you know, if you use this, tag me in the pictures on Facebook, tag me in the pictures on uh, Google. I just love this. I love sharing. I love doing this. As always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And that is so important. And I love you guys. I am so uh, beyond blessed. Um, and I want you guys, I will talk about it once I do it, but I'm going to um, put up on my uh, knittingandthings.com. We've been eating, um, I've, talk, I've touched on this briefly before, we have been eating a lot better here. Uh, my husband has liver issues. He's borderline liver, chronic liver disease, uh, can be brought back if uh, we change our ways. You know, I'm in kidney, I'm practically in kidney failure, and I have a lot of uh, other health issues, RA and fibro and ulcers and blah, 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 blah. Uh, so we've really, for the last month and maybe a week or two, have been changing the way we've been eating and adding a little bit more vegan in. Um, I don't know if it's vegan or I don't know vegetarian. I don't know which one it is. It's just, I'm not worrying about cheese and, and milk and all that being vegan. It's just using soy, a little bit more vegetable uh, meals and that kind of thing. Um, I've lost, I asked my daughter this morning, I want to say seven pounds in the last month and two weeks. Maybe we're on our second week. Um, it's very hard for me to lose weight because I am on so much medication that just holds it on me. It's, it's crazy. My daughter started taking, um, gabapentin and I think she said she went up 35 pounds or something and, and not changed anything that she's eaten or done anything. Um, so it's really, really hard as, as a lot of you probably know, uh, changing medicine, getting on certain medicines can make you gain weight for no apparent reason. So it's very hard. I've been on medications since I was 20, 28. Um, so it's very hard. So it's very slow coming off for me, but it's coming off. It's coming off my daughter, <clears throat> my husband, um, as well. We've changed our whole ways of eating and I have some really great recipes I want to share because a lot of you have written me and, um, asked, you know, about different things. Um, we're big sweet eaters. So, uh, I've been experimenting with a lot. I finally found a brownie recipe that, um, I found it on the internet. I, I didn't make it up but I tweaked it enough that, um, you know, it's, it's, I made it mine, so to say. And so I want to put these things up and, and share with everybody. So, um, you know, I'm just letting you know that and I'll probably talk about it in my next video. And, uh, so yeah, so look for those if you're interested. Uh, and then eventually, uh, I'm hoping within the next month or so I'd like to do, we'll see, I don't know if I'm going to do this, but I want to do, uh, videos of cooking. Um, not, you know, I'm not a chef or anything like that. I like to pretend I am cause I do love to cook. However, just to show, um, some of these recipes and different recipes that I do. And the reason I want to do it is because, um, <laughs> when I, when I first started researching this kind of life change in a sense, a month and a half ago, even longer than that, it, it was probably around Christmas. Um, and then my daughter had sent me some recipes that she wanted to try that were vegan was, was with uh, tofu. And I was like, oh, God, tofu. Ugh. However, um, I really found some really great recipes, tweaked them a bit, but uh, that really are delicious. Um, I'm not a vegetarian to the sense of, and I guess I should wait till my video when I talk about this, but I'm going to do it real quick. I'm not a vegetarian like some people are, and I don't know the lingo of what's correct and what's not, who don't eat animal products. Um, I understand why they do it. I'm all for them and their choices. I think it's fantastic. Um, I don't eat a lot of red meat at all. I've converted our, I, I'm not a meatloaf person, but I've converted meatloaf into using turkey, ground turkey. Um, and, uh, cause red meat does funny things with my body. I don't know, but, uh, I like I crave it once in a while and we'll have it. Um, I'm a big animal, uh, animal freak. I res I've rescued animals for over 20 years. I've fostered them. I've saved them. I've adopted them out. I've given IVs. I've done it all, my husband and I. Um, and so I'm a big animal freak. However, um, for what I deal with uh, medically for me, 
Uh, I don't know if I could go completely vegan like that. I don't know because I have cravings for cheese and fat. And if I could find different alternatives, I might do it. But this is easy because it's not expensive. Uh, I've researched a lot of the vegan lifestyle where they do cut out all the protein, animal protein and that kind of thing. Um, and it's so expensive to feed three people on it. I think if you're a single person or live alone, I think it would be a lot easier to feed three people is really hard. Um, so I just cut back on a lot of things. And like I said, it's very just little gradual things and it makes all the difference in the world and it's much healthier. So for all you people out there who cut out all the animal fat and that kind of thing, I am, hey, blessings to you because that's, that's a lot. And it's a lot. I'm having a hard time right now with just this little vegan thing a few times a week because finding exciting new recipes can be a little challenging when you're not having to add so much things that I don't have here. So I buy them a little at a time. Anyway, I'm done rambling. I know people are going to write how I ramble too much, but that's just something I wanted to talk about. Um, it's made a difference so far in my life for a, you know, a little over a month, two months. I don't even know what, how long it's been approximately that long. And, uh, so I'm very excited about it. And a lot of you seem very excited as well. Um, so I'm just going to put some recipes up. If you like them, you go look, you try them, you let me know. And if you don't, then don't look at them. I'll know what to tell you. Okay. <laughs> We're done here. I'm sorry. All right. So guys, <clears throat> have a good one. Let me know how you make out with this. Let me know down below. Let me know what you guys uh, do for your, you know, for to save money. Let me know what you guys do to save money. That's a great tip because not only for me, but for other people who are out there saving money, let us know your money saving tips. I would love to see them. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.